So guys, in today's video, I'll be showing you how to install an 8-pin decoder in an engine with an 8-pin receiving slot. This is something I got when I went to Steamtown in like 2008. And um, the price tag on the side, uh, let's just say I know why I got nothing else on the trip. Um, but uh, yeah, I guess I'll just uh, take you through what it takes and then I'll get to it. The first thing you're going to want to do is locate where the decoder slot is. And in this engine, it's in the tender. So I'll just take out the front for now. But um, do keep it, do keep it handy. Um, on most diesel locomotives, you just have to take off the shell. I mean, I don't see why it would be any different. Uh, please refer to the individual paperwork in your model's manual box, whatever. Next, you're gonna wanna take a screwdriver or whatever. Okay, so here I'm just opening it up as it should be opened. There it is. There is our decoder port slot. I forget what it's called. And in there should either be a dummy plug or a decoder. Uh, dummy plugs come in all sorts of shapes and sizes. So uh, just um, do whatever, I guess. Um, you know. Next, you are going to want to take the decoder itself and gently place it inside, making sure that all eight of the little pins go in all eight of the holes. Um, it might be different on other decoders, but um, don't don't push it in too hard. Um, this this Bakun one has been around, so it, it can take a beating. Um, but you might need to reverse it, just because if you put it in the wrong way, um, the lights might not turn on. And I'm not entirely sure why that is, but mm, I don't know. Uh, something to do with the wiring. Uh, wiring is not my strong suit. Okay, so up next you're going to want to get the engine into a state that it would normally be when it's operating. So, like, like for a diesel locomotive, that would probably be, you know, have everything reassembled. But here, um, there is a 8-pin plug in between the, uh, the tender and the locomotive. Uh, you probably can't see it. But you just got to make sure that, um, that the lights come on and then you know that you got it good. Like, you see? I, I, I'm working on getting a Digitrack system so I don't have to rely on easy command. You see, it does work. I still got to service the engine a little, but besides that, it still runs. Once you're satisfied with your decoder's installation, make sure that it actually fits within the shell. Um, don't be afraid to bend the wires a little bit. Um, something that might also help is if you... Uh, what's my strategy? Uh, sometimes I'll put, it, I'll put it together upside down. Uh, if, if, you, if you believe in yourself, you know, then um, yeah, you just put it back in the box and it's good to go. Now that your engine has DCC in it, uh, you can do a whole lot more with it. Uh, so yeah, that's probably going to have to wrap up uh, the quick guide for how to install an 8-pin decoder into an engine that has an 8-pin socket. Uh, so yeah, uh, ask any questions in the comments, and I'll see you later. Bye.